Hi Aquarius, welcome to my channel. This reading for today, Aquarius, this is a collective tarot reading session for you, Aquarius. I hope you are doing well. Oopsie. I hope you are fine and safe and doing good. This reading for today, this is for the Aquarius sign. Let us see what is happening towards you. What is the guided message for the Aquarius sign, please? We will pick up love message, love reading for you. Oopsie. Your card is resisting me. Your energy is resisting me. Let's see what's coming towards you in love, relationship, dating, and getting to know. What is the collective reading for the Aquarius sign? I want you to think of your person. Think of your romantic situation. Let's tap into their energy and let's see how they feel and how they think about you and what is most likely their next action or what is the future of this connection, okay? I'm channeling the month of July and August. This is for the sign of Aquarius, please. Oh, wow. Someone is manifesting you. It could be a Scorpio. They're very quiet. They're very distant. The Queen of Cups. The Hierophant card. What's coming towards you in love? Relationship, dating, and getting to know. You've got the Eight of Wands. You've got the Tower card. You have the Eight of Swords. You have the Judgment card. You have the Strength card. And you have the Queen of Swords. Okay, let's start your reading. So someone is really, really thinking about you. Okay? This could be like an ex-husband, ex-wife. This could be your ex. Or it's possible that there is a third party in here. I don't think you want to let go of this person. Okay? Um, this person is aware, Aquarius, that they still have a space in your life, in your heart. In fact, this person is very intuitive and they're fully aware that if they pursue you, you would take them back. But this time around, the way they think of you and your connection or your relationship, there's a lot of diplomacy. There's a lot of integrity. There is a lot of, I would say, respect. Okay? Because, you know what? The high priestess is here. The hierophant is here. And in the middle of this too powerful energy is the queen of heart. You know, the queen of love. It's possible that there has been a lot of roller coaster. It's possible that you've been in a very complicated connection with this person. And in spite of everything, it looks like you guys are going to stand the test of time. You make up, you break up, you make up, you break up. You know what? Some of you guys, their family is against you or your friends or family is against them. There is that inter exchange of we don't like your friends or your their friends or family doesn't like you or someone, something is here is somehow separating you. Like there are other peoples in here who are separating you. Because the High Priestess Hierophant card, it looks like Romeo and Juliet. Yeah, the Strength card. And this is the Hierophant card again. You could be dealing with a Taurus, a Scorpio. Scorpio again, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. They want to set a clear path, a clear direction, and set the record straight. But it will take time, okay? They're thinking straight right now. Like this person, they don't want to be impulsive. 
I don't know, I feel like this person, they have embarrassed you or they put you in such a, they put you in a very complicated position. They, I don't know, maybe ridicule or embarrass or humiliated you. There's something not so good that they did. That's why this person, although they know that if they persuade you, pursue you, they can get you back. But that's the moral, that's not a moral thing to do. Okay? Like this person, it's, it's, it's not moral to do that. Like they really want to think straight, straightforward. They want to do good. Yeah, Ace of Pentacles. They don't want to disrespect you. And they don't want to make the same mistake. Something tells me this person. Because it could, it's possible that it's been like a five years, two years, or five months, seven months journey of on and off, on and off, on and off. There's a cry for help. You know, I'm really, really picking up that. You might say, because I'm really, because the, the outcome is the Queen of Swords. You might say no. Like, as we talk right now, like, if I was your friend, I'm, you know, like, if I was giving you a reading, you would tell me, no, I'm going to start with someone new. You know, like, if you look at the Queen of Swords, she looks upset, she looks angry. I feel like on your part, you can tell me like, no, I'm over it. Strength card, Queen of Swords, Judgment card. I'm over it. I'm over it. You know, like. I'll, I'll have to ask you the same question once they come along. Um, I don't think they're going to. The month of July is going to be quiet. Okay. I'm really picking that up. It's going to be quiet. Come the month of August and September, they will make some noise. Okay, and in order for you and this person to really settle or reconcile or straighten up, iron it out, they would be needing you. I feel like in the beginning, you're very resistant, resisting, but they will persuade you. They've got some proof. I feel like this person, they're going to present you an idea. They're going to present you something that you will feel intuitively that hey this really sounds very serious or it looks like it's going to work yeah page of cups it looks like an emotional um you know what this person might confess everything that they really feel towards you cry it out and say the most sincerest apology they would even say i love you you know page of cups You've never seen them this way. Nine of Swords, Page of Cups. They will break their silence. They would have a breakdown. They would break their silence and they would have a breakdown. That's why you being the Queen of Swords, you might you might listen. Like you might give this person, okay, I'm just going to listen. And then eventually you might be convinced because it's the first time that this person breaks down, melt down. Yeah, awakening. Your person is waking up. The will of fortune. And the ball is in your court. This is a person who is somehow going to repent. And they want to iron things out with you. They're really going to open their feelings. And they will confess a lot of information. It's gonna be it's gonna be because there's a strength card in Queen of Swords, so you might be rigid or not flexible. Like no. But let's see. I am sure this person is going to express their sincerest apology. They will confess. They will do in their power to convince you. I just couldn't see in your heart to per forgive them right away. You could forgive them, but you might not take them back. So it might take a while for everything to sink in. Like it might take some time for you to soak about this. Like they confess today, they cry today, 
and you're like, no, I'll think about it. After one or two days, you just wake up and you realize they want me back. So it might you might have a delayed reaction with this person, Aquarius. It's very interesting because you're almost over. Yeah, five of cups. You might reject them. You might react delayed. So think carefully because logically it's so easy to, logically it is so easy to say no until your feelings catch up with you so think like think before you react okay the five of cups so this is your reading and they have a r like they have a this this could be like a ray uh they have an R, an A, an E, a W, a T, an N, an S. Surname, first name. They even have like a double letter. Um, so if their name is Sunshine, it's double S, Sunshine. S, S, you know, it's something like that. It's something unique about their name. And I don't know, this is... Echo or Jericho or Erica. Anyhow, it's quite sad because they're really confessing their true feelings and yet they're somehow cold. But it might change your mind. So this is your reading, guys. This is your collective love message. This is your collective reading. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for your support. If you would like to further connect with me, please click the bell and click subscribe. And I will see you soon again, guys. You have a great day. Bye-bye.